Good evening. We begin tonight with a nation in mourning following the death of six-year-old Faye Swetlick. Within the past few days, two pieces of artwork dedicated to Faye have gone viral with thousands of shares online each day. News 19's Emily Carell reached out to these artists to learn more about their work. In South Carolina on this day, differences have faded away. No orange or garnet sheen, no rich poor or in between. Only sadness for a child named Faye. Andy Martin is a Columbia resident who, like many of us, followed the story of Faye Marie Swetlick. It was right after we found out, you know, they'd found her and everything, and I was feeling very sad and, you know, realized that everybody in Columbia and the state pretty much, you know, even all around the United States, was feeling the same way I was, despite, you know, any socioeconomic economic backgrounds, despite political, despite, you know, your religion, whatever, everybody. It was, a, it was an equalizer, basically. With these feelings, Martin took pencil to paper. I just wanted to put something out there that, you know, just help me deal with it and, and let everybody realize, too, that they're not alone and that basically for that one moment in time, everybody was feeling the same way. It's national news. I, I remember hearing when she first disappeared and um, seeing it on the, the, the nightly news in Philadelphia. And I've just been following it every day, hoping for a positive outcome. Johnny Castro is a police officer in Philadelphia who draws composite sketches for his agency. He has also drawn almost 600 portraits of fallen officers and victims for their families in his spare time. It's always tough to hear that a child went missing, especially one as young as Faye, but um, to, to know firsthand what these families are going through when you know their loved one isn't coming home, it's, uh, you know, it's rough even to be a father and having uh, young daughters myself, uh, I, could, I could imagine what the family's going through and just the community down there. Like Andy Martin, Castro did what he knows best. Well, the goal is to have it be seen down there, um, which w was accomplished, but ultimately the goal is to, to put these prints into the hands of the family, which uh, should be coming next week. And just I hope that it brings some sort of joy, you know, in, in, a, in a tough time. It's not much, but it's just, a, just an act of kindness that I hope that... Uh, they can appreciate. I'm Emily Correll, News 19, WLTX. Castro says he is sending copies of the portrait to the Swetlick family and to the school resource officer who had a close relationship with Faye. Many of you is, have asked us about funeral plans. Yesterday, Faye's mother, Selena, told us there will be a private wake and private service. The family is also planning a public memorial. We'll let you know the time and place as soon as we learn that information.